Hi, I'm Anine Krauss. I'm from the Laser Research Centre and my master's study focused on four main subjects. Lung cancer. Lung cancer is one of the main contributors to cancer-related deaths worldwide. It has taken the lives of over 1.3 million people yearly out of 2.7 related cancer deaths. Lung cancer is aggressive and has been known to reoccur even after treatment with chemo and radiation. Stem cells are the first line of origin for any cell development. These cells are capable of self-renewal. They can develop into any cell type of the body and move to any place in the body. Um, these cells rejuvenate and repair. The discovery of two main initiating cells have been made, also referred to as cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are similar to normal stem cells except for the fact that they are cancerous. These cells have been known to be the reason behind cancer development and cancer reoccurrence. Low intensity laser radiation is a form of photobiomodulation, which means that visible to near infrared light is used to stimulate biological processes. It has been used for diabetic ulcers, stiff muscles, and skin rejuvenation. <coughs> My master's project aimed at determining the effects of a, variety, a, wide, uh, a wide variety spectrum of wavelengths and power densities. Um, of light irradiation on lung cancer stem cells. In my exploratory study, I found that light irradiation stimulates biological processes of lung ca cancer stem cells, causing them to grow when using a low energy irradiation. But when using high irradiation or a high energy of irradiation, it causes inhibition of biological processes causing cancer stem cell death. So, to conclude, um, when using light therapy, it should be used with extreme caution on patients with cancer who have had cancer, and further studies should include inhibitory effects on laser irradiation for clinical applications. Thank you. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.